Good morning, everyone. How is everyone this morning? I am excited because, well, right now I'm wearing my Billy Mills um, sweatshirt, but I'm guessing this afternoon I'm not going to need a sweatshirt because it's going to be like 60 degrees. I'm so excited. It is always really weird when the weather goes from like negative a million degrees. So you have to stay inside and can't do anything. And then it's like 60 degrees. So now you're like, go outside, do everything. So I hope everyone gets to enjoy the beautiful weather today. All right. Well, today we are going to do story time and I found a brand new book that I'm really excited about. I'll tell you a little bit more about it when I get it out, uh, but let's get started with a hello. I love to say hello to everyone. Hello might be my favorite word. Um, hello or hi, I'm usually more of a hi person, but for story time, I'm a hello person. So let's say hello together. Can you guys all put your hands in a half circle, kind of like this and say hello? Hello. That was excellent. Can we try it again? And But can we say hello, everyone? Let's do it. Hello, everyone. That was great. Thanks for joining along. Okay, um, let's do it one more time. Let's just get practice, get our voices warmed up. All right, so let's count to three and then we'll say hello, everyone. Here we go. One, two, three. Hello, everyone. That was just as excellent. Thank you guys so much. Now it's time to say hello to our favorite, cutest, most wonderful monkey. It's Morris the monkey. We're going to say hello, Morris and see if we can get him to come out of our magical red story time bag. So let's see if we can say it loud enough and friendliest enough because Morris is pretty shy sometimes. So we have to be super friendly and we have to be super loud and see if we can get Morris to come out. All right, let's do it on three. One, two, three. Hello, Morris. Did you guys say it loud enough? I said it pretty loud, but I think I need you guys to join me one more time and do it as loud as you can. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Hello, Morris. I hear something. I hear a cute little monkey. Oh my gosh. He's really in here. He was also reading our book this morning. See if we can get him out. Morris the monkey, here you come. There he is. Hi, Morris. How are you today? And let me see if I can put our magical red library bag back. It might be kind of floppy. All right. Hi, Morris. How are you today? Oh, he says he's doing really well. Um, oh, he says he hopes to get to go uh, swinging some trees later. Well, I hope so too, Morris. That would be so much fun. All right. So today we're doing story time, Morris. Are you ready to show us the story time song? All right, so what's the first thing we need to know? Ooh, Morris has got it down. We've got to clap our hands. Can you guys join me in clapping your hands with Morris the monkey? Clap, 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 clap. Perfect. What uh, do we have to do next? <gasps> he said I was already doing it. We're gonna pat our legs. So first we clap and then we pat. We go, oh, can you show us? Yeah. Pat, 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 pat. All right, so we're ready to go. We just do clap, 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 pat, 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 right? No, what do we have to do? Oh, that sounds so silly. We have to mix them all together. All right, I'm game of your game. All right, let's mix everything together. So we go, Mix, 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 mix. Mixing up our pats and our claps. Can we mix them high? Can we mix them low? Can we mix them out to the sides? Get them really mixed up. All right, I think we mixed up all our pats and our claps. You ready to give it a try? Oh, he wants to do a one, two, ready, go. And then we'll do our song. So we're gonna do three pats, three claps, a one, two, ready, go, and we'll do our story time song. All right, show us how it's done, Morris. All right, he's got it. So we go pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. One, two, ready, go. Story time, story time. Come and share a story time. Look at books, listen well to the stories we will tell. Great job, Morris. That was so much fun. Can we do it one more time? 
I love to sing this song two times because it's my favorite. Are you ready, Morris? Okay. So you might have noticed in the middle, we have two moves that we do. We look at a book. So we hold our hands out in front of us and open them up like we've got the pages of a book open. And then we put our hands behind our ears to show that we're listening well. So let's add those in to our story time song. All right. Pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. One, two, ready, go. Story time, story time. Come and share a story time. Look at books, listen well to the stories we will tell. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much, Morris. That was awesome. All right, Morris, will you help me by getting the book out of our magical red bag? Okay, ooh, ooh. He's got it, awesome. All right, uh, he's gonna go take a nap while we finish, while we do our book. Morris loves a good mid-story time nap in the morning. Okay, so Morris is gonna hang out over here. And I have got a brand new book for us today. All right, so this book came out last year. So it's only a, a less than a year old, which is pretty exciting. I uh, found it on the shelves and I immediately, while I was shelving, and I was like, this book is made for me. I love it. Uh, I'll talk a little bit extra about why I loved it so much at the end. But if you know anything about me, you know I love mermaids. Mermaids are my favorite. And, um... I am also can relate a lot to the main character in this book, Kai. Uh, so that is what we're going to read today. We're going to read Can I Give You a Squish by Emily Nielsen. So, Can I Give You a Squish by Emily Nielsen. Kai gave his mama a big squish. I love giving squishes, he said. The rest of the morning, Kai gave out squishes. He squelched some kelp, he squashed a rock, and scrunched some buried treasure. All right, can we give a big squish? So this book, I think they're using squish for a hug. So let's do a big hug. You can either hug someone around you or hug yourself. Ooh, what an excellent squish. He then, he even gave his friends a big group. Squish, all right? If you've got a group around you, it's time. Group squish. Oh, so good. Then Kai saw a little puffer fish he wanted to squish. And the puffer fish saw Kai. What did you think the puffer fish is feeling? Hmm, he looks a little... Oh, I think I heard some stuff. Yeah. He looks a little surprised. He looks a little worried, maybe. <gasps> Here's Kai. He gives him a big squish. Suddenly, the puffer, the fish puffed up like a big water balloon, which is what puffer fish do when they are scared or upset. I do not like to be squished, said the fish. <gasps> Kai felt terrible. All he wanted to do was give a friendly squish, but it had gone horribly wrong. The fish had not liked the squish at all. Maybe there's something else you can give besides the squish to show that you want to be friends, said the crab. But what? The friends thought. Can you guys tap the side of your head? Do some thinking? What's another way to tell a friend hello without doing a squish? Hmm. And they considered and they pondered until at last it came to them. <gasps> a fin bump. All right, can you guys all do a fin bump? We don't have fins, so we're gonna have to do a fist bump. The puffer fish was still hiding when Kai swam up. Excuse me, said Kai. I see you don't like squishes. Would you like a fin bump instead? The fish became calm. I like giving fin bumps, said the fish, and I like giving them, said Kai. Oh, look, another fin bump. Can we do one again? One, two, three, fin bump. What about 
you guys. What do you like? Kai asked his friends. I like to do tail claps, said the dolphin. Me too, said Kai. Okay, so we don't have tails either, but let's try a high five for a tail clap. High five. Did you get it? High five. Awesome. I like tentacle shakes, said the octopus. So Kai gave him one. All right, let's do a tentacle shake or we just shake hands. Does anyone want a claw pinch? Said the crab. Can you guys all pinch your claws together? I don't know. I think I would have the same face. I'm not sure if I would like to give a claw pinch. Maybe just a little one, said the octopus. All right, let's do our claw pinches. Pinch, 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 pinch. That's when Kai realized every fish likes their own kind of squish. Oh, look, they're bumping noses. They're clashing horns. Yeah. Kai went to find his mama to show her what he had learned. He gave her a fin bump and a tail clap and a tentacle shake, and even a claw pinch. Thanks, Bubble, but I think I would rather have a squish. Okay, Mama, and Kai gave his Mama a great big squish. Can we end with a squish if you're feeling it? Oh, great big squish. The end. All right, let's clap for that book. All right, so I love that book just because I am definitely a squisher. I would squish everyone if I could. I love to give hugs, but sometimes it's uh, good to remember that not everyone likes hugs. So I read this book and I was like, this book was written for me to tell me not to hug everyone and to just take a second and ask, what do you like? So if you're feeling up to it and you wanna write in the comments, are you more of a squisher? Are you a fin bumper? Do you like tail claps or tentacle shakes? I'd love to hear what your favorite way to say hello is. All right, so, um, and then my early literacy tip for today, because I'm doing a lot of talking right now, you're welcome, is uh, to pick out a book to let your toddler or whoever you're reading with, your kiddo pick the book. Uh, I had so much more fun reading this book and sharing it with you guys because I was excited that it had mermaids and it had squishing. I love hugs and mermaids, so I was knew this would be the perfect book for me. And your toddler feels the same way when they pick up a book too. They want to share something that looks cool and awesome with you. So uh, giving them the freedom to pick their own book, uh, even if you've read it for 50 times, uh, lets them have some agency and gets them really excited about reading. So that's my early literacy tip. If some of it's a struggle, just ask them to bring you a book and see what they bring you and uh, enjoy reading that book together. Okay, so that is Can I Give You a Squish by Emily Nelson, Nielsen. Uh, we're gonna finish up with a song. Uh, sometimes Morris shows me for a song, but I need both hands for this one. So can you guys start by showing me your hands? There they are, got our hands. Okay, so this song is really fun. It's all about saying hello, uh, but we're gonna be using sign language for this song. So let me show you uh, a couple of different sign language uh, signs that we're gonna use for the song. So the first one we're gonna use is hello. So uh, normally you kind of wave hello like this, but in sign language, hello is just kind of like you're saluting. It's your hand up at your forehead and then going out. Perfect, all right. The next one we're going to use is friend. So in sign language, you're going to need your two pointer fingers. You're going to kind of, they're going to act like friends and they're going to give each other a hug or a squish. So this is the word for friend. Sign language for friend. Awesome. Then the next one is we're going to point to our uh, wrist like we're pointing at a watch. This is how we say time. And then this is how we say to say, <laughs> which I realize I just kind of did. But you point to your chin and you point away, time to say. So this is to say. And then we end with hello again. So that's uh, all the moves we need for our song. So I'll go super very slow for our first one. And then I'll kind of do it a little bit faster and then I'll end on kind of a normal speed. All right, let's go. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, that was.
super slow. Let's go a tiny bit faster. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, I'm going to do it at normal speed. See if you can keep up. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Great job. Thank you guys so much for joining me for story time today. Maybe you've even got a friend out there who would like to say hello by just squishing your fingers together like you would say friend in sign language. Well, I hope you enjoyed our book. I thought it was so cute. And uh, yeah, go out there, choose some excellent books, and I hope you guys have fun reading all week long in our nicer, better, less wintry weather. All right, let's get Morris back out to say goodbye. I think he's done with his mid-story time nap. I think he's ready to come say well, goodbye. Are you ready, Morris? Oh, he's ready. All right, bye everyone. You guys have a great day. It was so fun to sing and read a book with you. Bye-bye.